A Sun Valley man seeks to become the first and oldest NFL player to climb the highest peaks on each continent known as the Seven Summits. Mark Pattison hopes to summit Mount Everest and Mount Lhotse in a 24-hour period to set a world record. I caught up with the 59-year-old as he shares his journey of playing the highest level of football to becoming one of the greatest mountaineers. It's 7.30 a.m. and Mark Pattison and Jim Mora are training at Bald Mountain. I'm always behind on the way up and uh, sometimes he lets me lead on the way down. The pair were teammates at the University of Washington before going in different directions. Pattison went on to play for the Raiders, Rams and Saints as a wide receiver, while Mora began his coaching career that spanned over 30 years, most recently in 2017 as the UCLA head coach. One of the things that's been really amazing um, you know, when you put so much effort into the training and the effort and, and just grinding every single day up the hill is to have a training partner. And I've been so blessed and fortunate that my best friend Jim Mora is here living uh, full time here in Sun Valley. And so every day we have a challenge. Mora and Pattison moved up here about three years ago and used River Run as an opportunity to train, especially when they skin up the mountain. He's ready to go and he's focused. He's done a tremendous job preparing and then also connecting with a something that kind of gives him a higher purpose. That higher purpose is Patterson's quest to finish the seven summits and raise money for higher ground. Because she sees that she can succeed and that she finds success and friendship and belonging, she knows that translates into other areas of her life. Able to use those core principles at higher grounds of therapeutic recreation and adaptive sports and transition that to working with veterans with disabilities, post-traumatic stress disorder, military sexual trauma, traumatic brain injury. Patterson was supposed to climb Mount Everest in 2020, but those plans changed due to the pandemic. In partnerships uh, with Higher Ground, the NFL and the Raiders and many other very generous contributors, we're up over $50,000 right now. Such an amazing advocate for making sure that people understand the importance of sports and recreation and helping people to rehabilitate and reintegrate into their communities despite any disabilities they might have. While Patterson scales mountains, his daughter Amelia is taking on her own Everest, epilepsy. Last year in a panel discussion, the University of Arizona junior shared her story of a near-death experience from her seizures. I had landed face down and I wasn't breathing. And if my roommate had not walked out of the apartment at the time that she did, I wouldn't be alive. Her father has completed six of the seven summits. The hardest one so far, Denali. The first year I tried it in 2017, we got pushed back by minus 80 degree weather. And that was really challenging, obviously, and difficult, and I didn't want to lose my fingers and toes. And so we turned around and we came back and I had to do it again in 2018. In a little over a month, he's taking on Everest and Lhotse, the tallest and fourth tallest mountains in the world. Holy cow, what he's about to do in a month is unbelievable. And what an incredible role model for all of our participants at higher ground, be it our kids with disabilities, all the way through to our adults and our veterans.